What's up Shady Crew? Back at it again with another reaction video and oh man, we got some rap beef, man. Um yeah, so it looks like we have Screwface John and Up Church going head to head, man. Um you know the last time they were I thought it was a collab might have been on the way. Time flew. But anyways, man, um, it looks like there's been quite a few back and forth uh, between Screwface John. Um, I think this originally started where um, those that were fans, uh, Creek Squad, uh, requested that Screwface John react to a video of Upchurch. He didn't think that his music was good, thought it was bad. Um, think then Upchurch then responded basically to let everybody know don't give him a hard time if he did you know this 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 um, but then it kind of kept, kept escalating between the two jabs were being thrown back and forth I think there were like two videos made between the two um, and then looks like recently uh, this has been going on for a couple weeks or so um, but it looks like the scrawl that broke the camel's back, if you would say, uh, was when uh, Upchurch went on Roast and Review and they asked him about Screwface John and he, I guess, said that he was irrelevant. Now, most of the fans are saying that he didn't really know that it was Screwface that he was talking about, that he thought that it was Spaz Reacts. And we all know what happened with Spaz Reacts um, and the way that he came about it, um, things that he said, and still rode the coattail of Upchurch up to a thousand subs. So he, he definitely rode the clout all the way through. Now, um, the words and what was stated in the uh, Roast and Review uh, brought to Screwface, he decided that he was going to go ahead and do a diss track and that brings us here. So we are going to react to uh, Screwface John's diss track um, and this diss track is called Sunday School. Um, now it is, it is, I am aware that um, Upchurch also dropped his diss track so I think what we're going to do is drop both in the same video and then we'll just hash it up at the end since we have both but um yeah man i didn't think that it would get this he didn't get this crazy so f so quickly now um to screw faces credit man he he did ask his fans what they wanted him to do they said they wanted him to go in and he signed to the people as he always says so he dropped his diss track first, um, and yeah, man, it's it's been it's been crazy. So um, we're gonna get into the video. We'll talk about more about the backlash and everything else that happened post the Screwface diss, and then get into um, Ryan Up Church's response to his diss track. Um, so this might be a lengthy video, but we're gonna get through this. Um, if this is the first time of you tuning in, please uh, wait to the end of the video. That's typically when I do my reaction. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Can we start the pot? Because I, I heard Screwface eat ass. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah. Screwface cool. We had him on the show a couple yeah, weeks ago, that? and he talked about um, a no, situation. No, dead ass serious. Who is that? Because you seem like a cool motherfucker. Motherfucker, I'll get in my Lamborghini and I'll drive to your house and we'll do a goddamn reaction video right now. Yeah, yeah he was yeah, he was saying something yeah. about one of Fuck your songs he didn't like. He's fucking irrelevant. I ain't worried about him. <laughs> Yeesh. Man, that's tough. You can't say F that dude. He's irrelevant. Yeah. It's a wrong man. Oh, uh, man. Words. Say my name Just and I appear like Candyman. It's way bigger than me versus you, Pepe. It's a right or wrong thing. Ah! So let's 
talk. The hit brainiac. Let me slow it down so they can hear me fast. You did. Just take them to church. Said a prayer, then I created this verse. Statements I'm finna be making to a racer from Earth. The haters get murked. The ice, and well, I'm breaking it first. Ain't no janitor joke today. I'm trying to make them a hearse. This hip hop culture, you robbing like you taking a purse. Said I don't work with white people, like that statement will work. But I ain't never seen you put a black male on a verse. With this dirt, you can get black male with this verse. Because the shit you rap is whack, you pussy. You lack your pussy, said you were trash and you spaz, you pussy. Stop back your pussy. We action packed and we strap you pussy. Kidnap this pussy. Since this punk loves Trump, if he runs, grab his pussy. Damn black skin, black hoodie. Now I'm in his habitat. Rat attack. Now his red top is matching his MAGA hat. After that, I'ma make a speech and take a stand like this for each and every man who's ever beaten by the clan. No Martin. I ain't preaching, I'm just teaching when I can. I'm Malcolm, cause if I'm reaching, bitch, I'm reaching for the can. This man tried to tell me racism is a myth. You know what privilege is? Thinking racism don't exist. Trick, that's like me saying your gap don't exist. So like half of your fans ain't wishing that blacks don't exist. These are facts, little bitch, little crit, but I'm shooting back. Doctor put his ass on white sheets, he probably used it. If we don't like your rap, you cannot force that shit. See, up church in Christchurch, probably support that kid. Made a man, now I'm irrelevant, got his bitch on. Irrelevant, but I'm the one in interviews you shit on. Irrelevant, but my opinion is the one you stick on. Irrelevant, but make a vids about me long as sitcoms. He said I cannot be racist, that's just some whack shit. My producers are black men, my girlfriend is Latin. And he almost had me too until I asked this. Wait, didn't Donna Sterling have a black chick? Bitch, you ain't woke because the person that you smashing. He like, I ain't racist, I got one fucking black friend. And he calls his fans the skins, that kinda haunts me. Cause there's another group that's called the skins, but that's beyond me. American history X, he tried to harm me. But this time the white boy's teeth is on the concrete. Long heat, you in the game, but I wish you wasn't. Click the button, kid is front and kiss the barrel like you kiss your cousin. And I don't even blame you, bitch, you just a dopey kid. Please tell Trayvon's mom racism don't exist. Oh, Phony bitch. Really? You really not the MC you claim to be. But we all already know that. Go ahead and tuck your tail. Go make your bluegrass, nigga. I'ma just smoke that. <laughs> <laughs> And you ugly, nigga. You ugly as hell. You stinky from Hey Arnold looking. Dale Gribble in the face. Boom Howard in the mouth looking. Boy, if you don't get your I'm so insecure. A dude with 76 subscribers didn't like my song. So I had to make a whole video about him. Face that. Look at it. <laughs> I know Dak somewhere listening to this like, boy up church, you messed up, bruh. You messed up. <laughs> right, facts, 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 right facts. Here. Um, man, yo, wow, bro. <laughs> Screw, man. Um, I just wish that you would have went a different direction, bro. Like, um, that the, the pussy line where you did it, kind of like, um, what was it? Um, like Lil Wayne where he, um, I think it was Uproar and he used line, 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 line. Like I like that, um, I like when you when you drop that. That was a good bar. Um, but the issue is, it's like, bruh, these, like, dang, did you really say toss the sheet to him? He probably liked that. So now he's what? He's a Klansman? What? What? <laughs> I, what? Um, come on, bro. Like, you're better than that. Um, I know that you're way wittier, way smarter than than this, and I'm pretty sure you had a reason or a motive why you went in this direction. But when it be when it comes to rap battles, I thought cardinal rule was that you keep race out of it, and for the most part, keep family out of it. Everything else is on the table. Um. This was this was this was tough, man. Um, it wasn't like how um, the "I'm Not Dax" track was, where I mean, you were literally going in on facts. Now you said that in in his track, you never seen him with a black, but Kelso is black and he did do clap, so that's not really true. Um, now, I mean, I I like the flow style. I like the way. Um, that you you broke it down it's just like there were so many racial epithets in this that it's like bro unless you can verify and solidify that you know for a fact like you got pictures documents 
that the man's racist, man. We can't like just randomly call people racist or uh, say that they're racist or say that, um, you know, like it was, it was funny. I only got one black friend, which is a play off of the Trump. Um, <laughs> that's my black friend. Like that's my, that's my African American. Like I get it. Um, but like, yo, there are so many other things or so many other avenues that you could have gone. Now, again, this is just round one. So you learn, you live, you learn, you grow. Um, but dang, man, I just wish you would have went in a different direction, man. Just keep it to the bars. Um, but I mean, this is the route that you took. So, um, it is what it is. It's just, it's hard to really give an assessment because most of the comments were so racially um, driven that it's like, ah, what you want me to really say, bro? Like, what you want me to say? I mean, unless I know for a fact that the person you're talking about, unless you know something, I don't know. Or you know, you seen something that I didn't see. Like, I've never really seen uh, Ryan Up Church to be racist. Um, I mean, we know that he likes Trump, but I mean, there have been plenty of people that have liked presidents, but that doesn't mean that they like their political views and standpoints. They may just like the person. Remember, Trump was an actor before he was a president, and everybody liked Trump before he became a president. I'm just saying, he was the Donald. Like, I'm just saying, like, we can't act like it's brand new now because he's in a presidential office and he's acting like what we don't want him to act like. He was the Donald before he was the president. He was on Apprentice before he got to the presidency. Like, you get what, you, what you're going to get. Like, it is what it is. But anyways, um, that's... It, it's, like I said, it, it's kind of it's kind of tough because a lot of the bars can can be debunked. So it kind of takes the heat off of some of the, the punchlines in the track. Um, but there were punchlines in the track and um, you definitely had a dope rhyme scheme in this track. It's just, there were so many things that kind of take away from um, the bars of this track. But anyways, um, let's go ahead and and see what, that, what the response is. This is the response uh, to to Screwface John Sunday School and the name of the song is Blue Jean Face. So y'all are crazy. Can I say that? Blue Jean Face and and what was the other one? School? Whatever. 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 We're not gonna go there. Um, but let's get into this video. I told you to get out of here, leave me alone. What the hell are you doing that lawnmower for? I ain't to kill you with it. <laughs> hey. When do I ever let shit slide, motherfucker? Truck, 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 truck. All this. Make a video. Don't make a video. Post another one. Uh, he, he's racist, he, he's racist. Yeah, shut he's the racist. fuck up. Yeah, yeah. Oh damn. oh damn, I think he shot right through my MAGA hat. No, you're not that accurate, and I wasn't even wearing that. This man just drank a mustard, now he thinks he's going savage. Shooting at me with a BB gun all the way in Nebraska. Yeah, bitch, raise hell and get the corn husk, cuz. Yeah, I know I'm white, but not the White House, but I don't know no politics, the only kind of ticks I know are always sucking on my balls like a dish track, ho. Oh, the only time I beat around the bushes when I'm looking, I'll be grabbing snakes and taking them to what you stupid? Yeah, this time I cannot save you from your own fan base. That's like saying you run shit with two prosthetic legs. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, you want me having no bars. You want me to be the one that slingshots your career far. But that ain't gonna happen. Why you trying to shake and bake with me? You just a decoy rapper. SJW with the racist shit. Somebody get a pussy hat and send it to this tweet. You look like Whoopi Goldberg back in 1993. A battle rapper, huh? You came to war with green eggs and ham. And I showed up with a steak knife and a chainsaw in my head. The only thing I see is me inflicting the fucking Silence, I will kill you on the track, that's no analogy Career suicide, yeah, you picked it up and done it With your hand up your ass like Ahmed and Jeff done the most strings attached, still a hip-hop puppet You sound like a motherfucking CNN spokesman You cry so damn much, your great fives are probably waterlogged But I'm the river rat, so get the fuck up out my monkey paw Yeah, you rode your own canoe of shit's creek on a summer day I'll make sure your headstone reads, death by set the tank You put a whole meaning to the term underground Cause I devoured you and pushed you out the end of my anal bound You the shit now only right before I flush it You pick the wrong hillbilly to wow. go against out in public You want the spotlight, miss the topic of discussion But instead you got bitch smacked by an ugly country bunk And we'll 
jeans down and your face gets screwed. Boom, Howard got you flabbergasted. Yeah, bang, oh, don't cry about it, little pansy. Bitch, I'm Hank Hooligan from the deep south. I bring the cows of blade and say you got a dirty mouth. So tell me, man, what was your initial plan? I think it backfired like my uncle Larry Trans Am. Is this a battle rapper? You just trying to shake my hand? Did I just diss a bitch or a fully converted trans man? Damn. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is man. Almost picked a Drake beat, killing you was God's plan. You look up to this church, why you pray beforehand? Yeah, you thought your shot was definitely gonna smash. Now I'm burning your ass like a slut who walked up in a Sunday school <laughs> class. Congratulations, Pat, on the back. At the end of this song, I won't be taking that L back. Now, if you please will take a second, step away from the microphone before you lose so many followers. You're in the negative zone. Yeah, blue jean face, I heard your shitty track. Was that a publicity stunt? Somebody left in the back? Now, people hear you saying trigger words in your rap, and they're like, yeah. Press somebody go and get the body back. A fucking body back for what? This was self assassination. He's got his own fan pages hating on him at the second. He got people in the comments saying, Who the fuck is up? Church is still on sub because he sounds so damn butt hurt. Church! Fatality. <sighs> call the police. Push nine. One. <laughs> I told you not to mess with me. Mm hmm. All right, we're going to stop it right there, man. Um, so let's get into this, man. Um, now, this is what I was saying, man. Like, the direction that Up Church went, and this is always, when, when you're in a rap battle, this is the beauty of being in a rap battle. When the person that goes second, you get a chance to hear the content and kind of get the response and um, all of that from the person that went first. So unless the person that went first like annihilates you, you're pretty much in a good point to throw jabs and really kind of edge them um, in in the round one. So um, Ryan up church, blue jean face like yo. This was this was definitely dope, man. It was definitely fire, bro. Um, and it was just that he was able to play off of the things that Trueface has said, things that he has that he's done. Um, and this is what I was saying in regards to Trueface's diss. Um, when you're in a rap battle, you gotta be able to have facts to where um, when you drop a bar it can't be refuted like they can't take it back so when he when he's talking about your following your followers declining these are facts um now the the question is were were the people that sub to you were they from up churches uh fan base or were they your fan base that's kind of up in the air because we don't know um for there's only certain ones that will comment and say, hey, I was a fan before, blah, blah, blah. But everybody's not going to comment. So it's kind of up in the air. Um, but, I mean, he definitely did take a, a step back or a knock back from the backlash of his his diss track. Now, um, the route that Up Church took, it was more of a petty route, man. Just kind of like... Because of the fact that you that uh, Screwface has said before that when he rhymes he doesn't really rhyme and talked about his metaphors not really landing, um, so when it came to Killshot Church, this is what I call him, Killshot Church. Um, in the rap rap battle, he chose an Eminem track, and he decided to go directly uh, for the playful banter, but to give you. Uh, witty bars on top of it, man, and he just point, pointed out some some points. It was a good jab back. Like, um, if you threw the first punch, he definitely came back with the counter, and and this was evident in in this track, man. The bars that were in this track, he definitely swung back. Now the issue is, who took round one between Up Church and Screwface? Well, unfortunately. For some, and not for others, you you have to give the edge to Upchurch. Why? Because the direction and the backlash and the response that you got from Screwface, like, like, I I don't remember a rap battle, um, and I've watched a lot of rap battles where a person drops a track, and it is like the 
the count like it's so bad that you have to do damage control um, and it's not that the bars weren't there but just because of the context or the content was so bad you had to do damage control um, so the edge definitely goes to up church because he was able to then use that to toss it back at you um, but um, again as you guys know um, if you're new to this channel, you'll get to know, man, I love the rap battles. I love seeing MCs go head to head because this is normally when you get the best of that artist. Um, and we definitely seen that with what Up Church dropped. Um, he was more meticulous about the words that he used and what he said and how he went about it and the jabs that he threw um, to make sure that that it was solidified. All right. You say that my bars are weak. You say that you know, the, the rhyme scheme isn't there and you say that it's trash and it's not hitting. Well, now that I'm going head to head and I can zero in on one target and I'm not doing a track where it's kind of spread out, I'm coming straight for you. Um, you definitely see it. Now, what will be Screwface's response? Because of course he is gonna respond to this. Um, hopefully it's more on the rap battle side and he steers clear of the, the racist banter um, because that's not necessary. Um, if it's about the bars, let it be about the bars. Now I get, again, I get why Screwface went at Up Church because at the point that you say to a man, fuck you, you're fucking ir irrelevant, those are fighting words. Those are fighting words. Whether he meant me or not, the, they called my name. You know what I mean? Like, it's just one of those. Now, again, yes, things could have been cleared up through DMs and interactions offline, but that's not what happened in this case. Um, but it's dope to see that both were able to drop music for us to bob our heads to, to listen to, to dissect uh, bars, but um, round one definitely goes to to um, Up Church, and <clears throat> I'm interested to see what round two is gonna be like, man. Um, I mean, heat for heat, bar for bar, give us the music. That's what we're here for. Um, and I mean, as far as for me, I I mean, I've listened to both. I've listened to Screwface John, um, the I'm Not Dax track that was dope and if you listen to that that um that track because everything that he said about dax was facts it couldn't be refuted that's why that track was so much heat the problem with his diss to up church is a lot of it can be debunked so it takes that away um and then when you listen to up church's track he's he's hitting you with things that can't be refuted so it's like they have to stand, you know. So when he's when he's calling you calling you out and and um, you know talking about the sub count, talking about various different things, like these are things that we know to be true. Um, so yeah, man, this was definitely definitely dope, man. Salute to both participants, Screwface and Killshot Church, man. Um, Screwface uh, definitely. Uh, I, I think on his side, he brings out the Machop. I'm not sure. Um, but, man, like I said, for us as content creators, man, it's definitely dope. We get to see uh, two artists go head to head. Um, and hopefully throughout this um, back and forth and this banter, we just get dope music. And everybody has to understand that it's about the music. It's not about um, people's personal opinions. Rap battles do get personal. Um, we've seen, if you've ever watched rap battles, there have been times where people have gotten punched in the face because they said something that really got under the skin of the next person. So, um, rap battles can get heated, man. Hopefully this isn't one. Um, and hopefully, like I said, for Screw, it's a, it's a, it's a learning curve for him so that when he goes in for round two, that it's it's about the bars, um, and then we'll see. When the dust clears, we'll see. But for us as content creators, man, I love to see MCs get into the booth and just drop bars. Um, 
but th these are my thoughts on it, man. Uh, definitely salute to both, man, and definitely salute to um, to Ryan Up Church, man. It's one of those things that because of the backlash, you didn't really have to respond to it. You could have just left it. But I'm glad that he jumped in and came to play. And, and we're able to get refocused back in on the fact that it's about the bars. Um, but anyways, guys, you guys have to let me know. What do you think about the track um, for Up Church? Who did you think pulled off the first, uh, the first swing? Who won round one? for you and we'll hash it up in the comments man um now i just say be respectful in the comments man don't go crazy uh, because anytime you start talking about race and and things of that nature feelings emotions get involved let's just keep it calm we can talk about the bars we can break it down we can say what we what we liked about it what we didn't like about it and just keep it moving uh, but th those are my thoughts, guys, and we'll hash it up in the comments below. Um, but anyways, we're going to keep this moving. Make sure you stay locked to this channel. Your video is coming up next. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Until then, Shady Crew, stay shady out there.